Welcome to the new vlog. This is the graduation week vlog. If you saw the previous clips, I have graduated with a bachelor's degree in English and political science, and here we are. The important thing about this week is this is the week vlog before I move. So this will be taking place, as you saw, just before my graduation, and up until I am on the plane and moving and that's when we start the moving vlog. So in this vlog, I am packing everything up, I'm getting ready to move, and I'm figuring my life out. If you haven't seen the life update yet, that's probably the most important part. Um, I have now graduated with a bachelor's degree. I am going to graduate school for a master's in international relations and I am moving to Washington DC to accomplish that. So a lot is going on. <laughs> want all the details on that you should check out the life update because I, I, I tell you all the things in there so it's important but for this vlog first off we are starting off with this Lilikoi lemon mochi cake bar that I got from a local German bakery that literally just opened up last week they had their traditional Hawaiian blessing before their opening and now they're ready for business and I'm very excited my mom and I have already eaten half of one loaf that we bought there and three out of the four brötchen that we got there those are tiny little bread things good morning okay so now let's talk about the books because the most integral part about moving is <laughs> i've accumulated a lot of books i have a book haul that has either gone up or is about to go up Check that out. I have purchased a lot of books digitally and uh, unfortunately a lot physically. But some of the books that I've brought with me here and some of the books that I've purchased here, I need to read before I move because my parents are doing their own kind of thing and long story short, they won't be able to send me boxes for six months after I move next week. So. <laughs> I won't be able to touch the books that I am leaving here and sending over to myself for at least uh, six months. So I need to figure out which books I am taking with me for sure in my luggage, which books I don't really care about and am unhauling, and which books, oh gosh, and which books I am sending over to myself six months from now. So different priorities. Basically, I just started reading Four Days of You and Me. This was written by Miranda Kennelly. This is basically about two people throughout high school and it kind of shows how the relationship evolves and it basically takes place on this one day every single year, a year apart when they do this field trip. I've started it. It's okay. Not sure. Um, I'm on page 75 and I read that very quickly in a short amount of time so I think I can actually speed through this book because it's easy reading and it's currently like a three star okay level for me so still considering if I want to keep reading this or just kind of cut my losses but so far you know I'm having an all right time with it and I think it'll get better as it goes on so we'll see. I also would like to read Majesty. This is written by Catherine McGee. This is the second book in the American Royals duology trilogy series i don't know is there another one after this i'm not sure 
but basically this is about if America had started off as a monarchy instead of a democracy and now we would have royalty, American royals. There you go. So this was a huge anticipated release for me last year and I'm really nervous because I loved the first book so there's a lot writing on this one. I want to buddy read it with Maddie but that also means I have to force her to read it within the next nine days so we'll see if that happens. Then I have to finish The Adventure Zone. I only got about halfway through because um, I love these graphic novels so much. They're based on a podcast where three brothers and their dad do a Dungeons and Dragons game and these are their characters and I absolutely love it. But I was reading this and I was realizing that this is the last one and I wasn't sure, hang on, I wasn't sure at the time if there would be another one. I was really hoping they would have another one. But if this was the last one, I didn't want it to end, so I stopped it. And since then, I found out that actually the next one is coming out in a couple of months, which is very exciting. So I feel like I have the emotional strength to finish this. So I am going to probably start from the beginning again. It's a graphic novel and I love it so much and I'm very excited for that. The other books that I definitely am going to be reading are also graphic novels. I am going to be reading through the whole Fence um, series again. They're very short, which is annoying because they cost money and they're so short, but I really love them. And I wasn't able to read the fourth one when it came out and that was right when I was moving and I wanted to read the whole series from the beginning. And I haven't been able to do that, so I need to do that and it needs to happen. Next, I really want to read Juliet Takes a Breath, the graphic novel version of it. If you have not seen either my favorites of 2020 video or I had a vlog a while back or a haul, I don't remember, but I talked about this in a couple of videos in the past. The point is that this is the graphic novel adaptation of my favorite book of 2020, which is Juliet Takes a Breath by Gabby Rivera. Absolutely loved that book, phenomenal. And now I get to experience it in a different way. And it's just like finishing the last book in a series. When I finish this, there will be no other mediums for me to enjoy this story in. This is the last time I get to experience the story as a new story that I haven't experienced yet. And I know it's just, it's basically the same thing, but in graphic novel format, but I just, I just love this story so much. So it's going to take a lot of emotional energy for me to start reading this and finish it all the way through because I will know that that is the last time I get to do that and it'll be really sad. But also really good, I mean, the art in this is so beautiful. Like, look at those colors. Oh my goodness, I want to read it so badly. And then we have Giant Days. So this is the first volume. I have read all 22 or 24 volumes of Giant Days. I read them in 10 days at the end of 2020. It was a journey. It was right after I had a huge reading slump and was super stressed from school. And then I read 22 volumes of graphic novel digitally. I read them through Kimmel Unlimited and Comixology. You can get a free trial of both of them. And almost every single one of these is available on there for free with those for trials. You can do the first couple on Kindle Unlimited and then the rest on Comixology, but the last two or three aren't available on Comixology, so you might have to buy them if you want to binge read all of these like I did. Love this story. It's about three college students and their time throughout university in the United Kingdom. I just love it. They go through so many different life experiences and it's just my favorite book series of all time which is fine. And then last of all, I am considering reading through all of the saga volumes because I have not read the last one yet because I've heard it is very emotional and very intense. I want to read through all of them because I might have to ship them in six months because I brought all like nine volumes of that graphic novel series with me here. I don't 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 ask me about it. I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to read through all of them, but that is what we're doing in this vlog. Sorry for the very long intro, but basically I want to read at least nine books and at most probably between 18 and 20. I don't think between 18 and 20 is at 
all reasonable or will at all possibly happen. It would already be a stretch for me to read the ones I physically just showed you, but to read through all of Saga in the next like nine days would be a lot. So we'll see what happens, but thank you for joining me. It's going to be a fun time. And I'm also going to be figuring out, as I said, what books I'm taking with me. So let's go on this journey together. <laughs> story time so I just went to the pharmacy to pick up a couple prescriptions and then I noticed that there was a Starbucks inside and I was like you know what I do have quite a few reward stars that are about to expire that I really need to use so I went in and decided to use them on I think it's like a called a handcraft to drink or whatever and originally I was going for the grande right but then, <laughs> it's as big as my head. <laughs> the barista was such a bro and said that it uses the exact same amount of stars if you get a, like a tall or a Trenta. <laughs> so I have a Trenta. This is so big. To clarify, I am not going to drink this all today. I'm going to save some in my fridge for a later date because why the hell not? But oh my god, it's huge. Hello, it's Friday. We're about to start a reading extravaganza, if you will. I'm going to try to read all the books that I talked about this weekend because, of course, throughout the week, I had a lot of stuff to do. There was a lot of stuff going on, so we're going to get into it. We're going to do this. Everything's going to be great. So I am currently reading Majesty by Catherine McGee. I am on page... 209 there's only about like 350 pages in this and the two times i think i sat down to read it i read like 100 pages so i think i can just finish this in one go now so far it's very good i'm enjoying it very much i ended up dnfing four days of me and you i'm going to donate it to uh, this one local used bookstore before i leave just wasn't my thing, you know? It just, it happens. I was reading it and the whole time I was reading, I just kept thinking like, after I finish this, I can read something I actually enjoy. And that's not how I like to read books. I don't like to read books that I'm not enjoying. So I figured just DNF it while we're ahead and then we can get to all the graphic novels I want to finish too. So let's, let's finish this. I have a good gosh darn time. So you live in the dream. You should see it through someone else's side. Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet Time to 
Hello, I am talking to you from my yard because I'm going to wrap up a last vlog. So I finished this um, last night, Friday evening. So thoughts. I was really digging this, like for the first half at least, maybe in the first like three quarters, and then just towards the end, I don't know, it was starting to get really, oh God, mosquito. <laughs> and then just towards the, excuse me, sir. And then just towards the end, it just started getting a little too cheesy and dramatic. Like there was this whole like big climactic event that I won't spoil, but it's this huge event and it has a lot of people and all the characters in, are involved. But of course, like everything was falling apart for everyone right beforehand. And oh my gosh, the drama. And it was just, it was, ow, ah, gosh darn mosquitoes. I just slapped my book against one. Anyways, it was just a lot of drama. And I didn't enjoy that. And there were a couple character speeches where it was, it was just a little much where they were like, yes, we have this history and everything's going to just work out just fine. And it was supposed to be like really, motivational but it was just ow it was just a little much you know so i gave it a four star but it's more like a 3.75 if i'm being honest i was digging it but it was just a little too intense and cheesy i don't know if there's going to be a third book in this series i feel like we've we've had enough especially because with all of the romances it just started getting a little much towards the end because everyone had to have their own individual drama and no one could be perfectly happy. It all had to fall apart for everyone. So it was just a little much towards the end. But now I just started reading the third volume in The Adventure Zone, which is Petals to the Metal. I'm really digging that right now. It's a good time. And after that, I'm going to read the graphic novel adaptation of Juliet Takes a Breath. So that is my plan for today. update time so it is now tuesday i spent most of the weekend and monday just running errands and packing my luggage and making sure i had everything planned out now we are one day one day away from my moving venture everything that's to come so that means i still have half of juliet takes a breath to read Really enjoying it right now, it's a good time. I was really looking forward to seeing how this would be adapted into graphic novel form. And honestly, I'm really enjoying it, but there is just one thing that's bothering me a little bit. A lot of the initial conflict that I really enjoyed in Juliet Takes a Breath has been cut for, I mean, honestly, just length, I'm guessing, because obviously graphic novel, you can't put in all of the story, the plot, the development into such a short page count especially when it's artistically rendered as well. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed that some of that conflict has been cut out, but also totally understandable. And then after that, I have four volumes of Fence. I read them pretty quick when I first got them. And then I have the newest one, which is the fourth one, Rivals, that I think I got from Maddie. Yes, we are going to finish Juliet Takes a Breath, then 
I might have a quick little snack, um, pack up some last little things, organize, clean a little bit, and then I think I'm going to read the four Fence graphic novels. Worst case scenario, I am reading Fence either late tonight or tomorrow morning before my flight, which sounds a little stressful, but it'll be fine. So let's go. I just read the first three volumes and what a good time. I'm so glad I'm rereading them before I have to put them in a box. Oh my gosh, I love this series so freaking much. I love it. I still have to read the fourth one, which is the only one I haven't read and that's the one that I think I got from Maddie at some point last year. It's the whole reason why I'm rereading these because I really wanna read the next one. But for now, I'm going to make some guac, so make some guac and then we're gonna read the last one at that point I will have read all of the books on my TBR I know I mentioned saga at the beginning but did we really think I was going to read all nine volumes of saga did you really believe in me that much because oof, I mean I'm honored I'm honored but that wasn't gonna happen no way no 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 now I just have one last volume and then I've read all of the books that I've been meaning to read before I leave for my flight tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon and it's already like 4 p.m. right now so we are making it in just enough time and I did so much packing today and preparing for tomorrow. <sighs> Low-key stress, but it's gonna be great. Thank you so much for joining me. This was such a fun time trying to read all of these books as quickly as possible before I moved. <sighs> it's been a lot the past week. It's gonna be a whole lot more. Check out my moving vlog, which will come next, but I'll be moving for about 10 days. I'll be in the process of moving because I first have to go to Washington State and figure out my storage unit and then I'll go to Washington DC and that will be my final place. But I will see you in that one. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you had a lovely day. If you made it this far in the video, if there is an airplane emoji, I think there is, uh, then type in airplane or put in the airplane emoji. If you don't have access to emojis, type in plane and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!